I'd like to highlight that uh, we have um, you know, just a fantastic uh, lineup of invited talks uh, from Facebook, uh, from, um, uh, from NEC uh, systems, from Fujitsu, um, and uh, we have uh, uh, really, uh, you know, uh, fantastic uh, tutorials as well. We actually, and usually we have two tutorials as part of our subcommittee where usually, we, you know, people only get one. We have one tutorial uh, from uh, Google, um, uh, from actually Amin Vadat, who's, uh, who gave an invited talk last year and was, uh, you know, such a success that uh, uh, we invited him again and graciously, you know, he agreed on optics and data centers. And the second invited, uh, so, uh, sorry, second uh, tutorial from IBM, from Alan Benner, um, on, uh, again, the optics in the high-performance mm -hmm. computing arena. Um, and we also have uh, just finished reviewing, um, you know, a fantastic set of contributed talks that address um, these issues in more focused, uh, in more focused papers. And some of the highlights include uh, papers on um, very uh, high energy efficient transceivers. So, s one of the driving uh, uh, metrics for inserting optical components in data centers is can you provide us these high speed optical transceivers that can be co uh, low cost, of course, that's a big requirement, and very efficient at, at from an energy consumption point of view. We like to say that optics addresses the power consumption problem in data centers, or is a potential, a potential for, for addressing that. And so on the one, it, it does that in two ways. One is by, um, you know, by addressing the optical, during the optical switching, some of the, uh, there's been a lot of proposals on uh, using optical switches in data centers. Um, and that's, th we have several papers related to that. And the other area is on uh, the, the concept of being able to transmit high-speed data over the distances of data centers, which are actually relatively short for optical communications. This is not long-haul communications. It's maybe, you know, hundreds of meters. Uh, but compared to electronics, it's, it's extremely long-haul. Because if you have electronic interconnects over that kind of distance, you have to regenerate the signal many, many times. And that costs a lot of energy. So in those two ways, optics really addresses the simultaneously the bandwidth and energy uh, challenges. So we have papers on the transceiver, making very energy efficient transceivers at high speed, uh, including plastic fibers uh, with over 100 gigabit per second um, in, in them, which is uh, really interesting. And um, uh, very high performance uh, optical switches, optical interconnect networks uh, and network architectures uh, related to that.